Making games in one hour seems to be a bit of a hot topic these days, so I thought, let's give it a shot. The game I'm going to make is greatly inspired by Vector TD, a flash game I used to play when I was a kid. It has simple graphics and simple gameplay, but I used to sink hours into this. Heh, <laughs> what can I say? I had no life then and I have no life now. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I needed to do was make a new project. At this point in time I knew what sort of game I wanted to make, but I'd done no planning, so I was basically making it up as I went. I made a few basic game objects to store level data and game states, and then I made a tile map so that we can display our level. While working on this project, I didn't actually consider the fact that I'd never used a Unity tile map before, so I wasted a good 5-10 minutes actually trying to figure out how to use it. I thought it would be a good idea to jump into paint and draw some tiles, so I did just that. Here we have dark blue square with light blue square inside. Beautiful pixel art, I know, thank you, thank you. And coming alongside big dark blue square with light blue square inside is big light blue square. Try saying that five times in a row, bet you can't do it. After importing the tiles into the game and some meticulous googling, we now have a level. But I can't call this game a tower defense if there's no enemies, so I jumped back into paint and made one. I chose to make this a shiny yellow diamond, because you know what they say, diamonds get the girls. I then set up a way to store the path that the enemies are going to take, and then I filled it in specific to the map. Three minutes of coding later and we now have this. I'm fast as fuck boy! <laughs> Now when the enemies get to the end of the maze, they don't do anything yet, so let's fix that. Wow. So now we have a system to store health. When the enemy gets to the end of the maze, we'll reduce the health by one. Pretty simple. The time is almost half up and we've still got a lot of things to do, so let's not slow down just yet. Typically the enemies in a tower defense game come in waves, so let's get that working. I set up a system that uses coroutines to spawn enemies one after another until a certain amount of enemies are spawned. Ah yes, much better. A tower defense without a tower is just defense. So let's make a tower. And I think circles are pretty cool, so uh, bam. And we can't forget the detail lines, very important. So now that we have a uh, tower thing, I'm gonna slap together a shitty menu so that we can select it and place it. And voila, now we can place them. And after a little bit more coding, now they can shoot. Except there is no effect yet. So here we are again. Back in paint. Personally, I'm a big fan of freaking laser beans. So yeah, here's a laser. This was pretty easy to add into the game and uh, oh god no. After crying for five minutes, I fixed it and now we have this. But now we're running out of time, so let's quickly move on to sound and finish up. So I quickly jump on over to JSFXR to generate some sound effects. I downloaded them, imported them, and then my heart sank. There was an error. Source file has zero length. What the heck? Why was it doing this? Has JSFXR failed me? It seems so. It is apparent that quickly downloading BFXR was my only hope. With the clock ticking ever closer to zero, I started to panic. I got the sounds imported and hooked up as quickly as I could. And with a sigh of relief, I was finished. The game was finished. Well, if you could call this a game, there are still many, many things that we could do. And that's where you come in. I'll include the source code in the description of this video. You can do what you want with it. Fix it, put your own spin on it, or even just download it to delete it again. But whatever you do with it, be sure to talk about it in my Discord. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.